to deliver and sell an integrated solution to the end customer without that the end customer needs to worry about anything uh, uh, concerning technologies. So any device, any application, any iOS based application, any functionality, any type of data. So in a stacked uh, the image would look like this on top of the end customer who only wants to worry about his data and his functionality. And below that are the value added resellers or the vertical solution providers that want to deliver that solution. And they use our cloud service broker solution, this fabric, to do so. And besides that, we've uh, developed some sales enablement software to help our partners who are used to selling to IT, but maybe not used to selling to uh, 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 business decision makers, to sell to business decision makers and ask the right questions. Uh, so they can focus on functionality instead of focus on technicalities. And we can publish on HP solution or on Azure or uh, even other cloud solutions, cloud platforms. So the sales and enablement solution is a, is, a, is a big element and a very important part of the solution that we offer. Because of IT guys are used to selling to IT guys and they are most often f focusing on servers and storage and networking and all kinds of technical stuff. But more and more business decision makers are uh, uh, making the decisions on uh, what solutions they would like to buy and uh, to buy directly from a, a, a sales provider. So, the sales and solution focuses the questions on the functionality, on the security, on the compliancy, on the type of data, on the type of uh, backup and disaster recovery that they need, on the service levels. And by doing so and by answering these questions, the business decision maker immediately sees online directly what the impact of his answers is and the decisions he makes, the impact on the pricing that he will get for the cloud services without having to worry which type of servers, which type of virtual, uh, virtualization, uh, which type of containers, which type of other technology that's used. It's just focus on which business functionality, which type of data, which type of security, compliance, etc. And that these answers provide the pricing. And these focus the, the discussion with the client. So Cloud 28 Plus, we will we are already a partner with Cloud 28 Plus, I think, since the beginning, and we will publish our whole catalog and the next few months on the Cloud 28 Plus, we see it as a real enable for us to go into the European market, to compete with other service providers, but also to cooperate <laughs> with solutions from other service providers. I've been having some interesting discussions already with some of the service providers here, that, with services that we could integrate in our portfolio. So we see there's big leverage opportunities with Cloud 28 Plus, and we're very happy to be here and to have the opportunity to speak to you all. So. We have an, uh, already a portfolio of more than 600 client business applications and we have the strong belief that in the end the customer is more and more, will be more and more focused on the functionality that he wants and not on the technicalities because they are becoming more and more complex on the back end. So the focus will be more and more on how can I manage it from a business perspective instead of a technical perspective. So that means that what we call the LTs, and they're not all LTs, but it's scalability, reliability, availability, etc., will become more and more important, and that's where you will make the difference in the solution, and not on which virtual machine or which virtual server or what sizing, etc. That won't make the difference. That will be a commodity. It will be on this level, and this is where we want to differentiate, and where we will help our partners, be it VARs or ISVs or service providers, in making the difference. And furthermore, I th we strongly believe is that you have to focus on the business value and the business outcome. That means that you must be able to tell your end customer is where you will make the difference for his business. So you will have predictable costs, you will move from CAPEX to OPEX, but you maybe want to know what will be my cost per produced unit or per employee per month. And will I be able to scale up and scale down? What will be the impact of that? What will be the impacts on my uh, financial situation? And of course, other uh, uh, business uh, values like scalability, flexibility, scale up, scale down, etc. Uh, and I think one of the most important things is carefree. So when these customers use these services from the cloud, they want to be certain that it's secure, safe, compliant, compatible, integrated, so that they can have a very free and uh, environment to work in. So with that, we would like to conclude, I think, and. Uh, and everybody was worried about the, the lot of slides we have, but I think we are 
uh, certainly in schedule, maybe because we skipped a demo out after that. But, uh, but still, uh, I think we have time left for a demo even. But, uh, <laughs> Maybe we can try. But, but, but uh, I think it's very important for everybody here to see, hey, uh, uh, integrate services from other service providers. We have been have a, a real good uh, a partnership with uh, Exact and we are moving forward very quickly uh, into Europe with Exact and the rest of the world. And we strongly believe that uh, with Cloud 20 Plus we could do even more business. So thank you all for your attention and thanks for your time and the time we could spend here. Thank you very much.